Hi, so I wanted to show off a little video here of what you can do with uh, one of these software-defined uh, radio receivers. Um, so this is a, uh, it's, it's sold as a DVB-T stick, which is a digital video that's broadcast in Europe. Um, but because that is a certain um, Realtek chipset, uh, there's an open source library called RTL SDR that allows you to use it as a software-defined radio. Um, and it works with pretty much any operating system. Here I've got the BeagleBone Black, um, it's running Linux. Um, so I've just got the um, software-defined radio um, USB stick here from Adafruit um, hooked up to a USB hub. It's going into the BeagleBone here. Um, and then on my computer here, I am logged in, I'm SSH'd into the BeagleBone and I got a program called Dump 1090 from GitHub and what this does is it um, is able to pull the um, receive the uh, transponder info from airplanes um, which is at uh, 1090 uh, megahertz so I went ahead and installed that and I'm gonna run it here and it's gonna list all the um, airplanes that it sees so we've got a listing here so we can see it's starting to collect data it'll pull up more over time so it shows everything including altitude, speed, latitude, longitude um, and the track and messages, I, I think, are just kind of data about uh, how many about the data that's receiving. And on the last column there, it'll show you how, how when was the last time that the program saw a radio transmission from that um, flight. Now, some of these don't have a call sign. Um, most of the commercial planes um, do. So, hopefully, eventually, we'll see one pop up here um, that has a um, call sign. So you can see things like which ones are uh, uh, FedEx, UPS, Freight, uh, United Airlines. Um, so I live about 10 miles away from O'Hare. Um, so it looks like we just got United on flight there. So United uh, 1569. Um, so we see that it's uh, going 200 miles per hour, latitude, longitude, um, and the altitude is uh, 6,400 uh, feet. So it looks like it is descending. So it's probably coming in for a landing. I'm about 10 miles away from O'Hare uh, on an um, approach path. So there's always lots of planes flying overhead. Um, and we've got an American Airlines flight there as well. So this is, a, this is just from the terminal, which is kind of cool. But the other thing Dump 1090 does is also has a web interface. So if I go to the IP address of my BeagleBone, which in this case is, let me pull it up here, it's 192, 16, uh, 192.0.101 and then it's on port 8080 is what the web interface is running on. So if I pull this up, it's going to show me uh, overlaid on Google Maps the current flights that it's seeing. So it's a much cooler way of looking at it than in, in the, just in the terminal there. So let me scroll in, zoom in here. So now we can see some planes flying around. Um, let's see what, if we click on them, it'll show us information about the flights. So let me click on this one. So there's no date on that. Let's see what this one is. OPT. So you can also look up the call signs to see what the flight is. Okay, so this one is United Airlines 1569 and it's up by Glenview. Now let's go back to the terminal see if we can pull that up. So 1569, alright so there it is right there. It's uh, the speed is 195 um, and we just saw it two seconds ago. Eventually you'll, once they go out of range you'll stop seeing the data. So if that one took off and it's going away, it's probably going to be gone soon. Probably not going to see it again. Um, now, one other interesting thing here is, first I didn't know if this was working well or not, so I pulled up another website called Flight Radar and went to my location by O'Hare on it, and I can see all these planes. So the ones that are in orange are using, uh, it shows here, so the ones that are in orange are using the same thing I am or sorry, the ones that are in yellow are using the same thing I'm in, which is the ADS-B data, which is what the, the SDR stick is receiving. Um, so 
we can actually kind of cross-reference and, and find planes that I'm seeing with my transmissions. And uh, the cool thing too is when you click on one of these in here, it'll show you more information about it. So it's kind of fun. I can pull up the interface that's on uh, Dump 1090, and then if I want to find out more about it, I can go over here to Flight Radar and see exactly all the all the information on the flight that it pulls from some sort of database. So hopefully that was fun. Um, this stick here is only 20 bucks. Um, this one's from Adafruit, so um, definitely recommend getting one of these. It'll work with uh, Windows, Mac, um, Linux. Uh, there's all sorts of different programs out there for it. So um, it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.